away we go. Hello, welcome to our journey to Storybook. I'm your Captain and Storyteller, Kayla. Today we're on the SS Windy. For the remainder of the ride, please remain seated, keep our hands, arms, legs, and feet in the vehicle. Please supervise your children's success for new days and take on expected turns. Uh, I really like getting eaten by a whale. How We're now in three months for the whale to stay in the Tala Trapeto and Pinocchio. But no worries, boys, that won't be happening to us today because as you can see, unfortunately, his toe is missing. So it'll be time for into a magical place I like to call Storybook Land. As most stories, they all start with once upon a time and so does this one, the big bad wolf and the three little pigs. Us coming to our left hand side, we are going to see Mr. Wolf's cave. And just down the street, we have the three little piggies house with the big bad wolf try to huff and puff and bring the piggies house down. The first one's at a straw, the second one's at a stick, and the third one's guaranteed wolf proof brick. Just around the riverbed, to our left, we have Alice. Who's on me one? Go to nap the new ninja. She met the white rabbit. As she was chasing the white rabbit, it was late for a very important day. They fell down the rabbit hole. Then went down, down, down into Wonderland with Mad Hatter, Cheshire Cat, and the King of Hearts. Right in the middle, we have London Park, where Peter Pan took the three dog children, John, Michael, Wendy, to Neverland, with the help of Tinkerbell and our pixie dust, where they never, ever have to grow up. There's a taco right there. Wait, that's not a taco, that's a Straight ahead, we have the city of Igabal full of mysteries and mystery, where a street by name Aladdin and Prince Jasmine for their first time in a marketplace. They met a genie, they fell in love, they even defeated Jafar. Now they live together in that palace, right on top of the hill. Yeah, I watched that movie. I did. Aladdin. Yeah, I watched that movie in my class. Don't you dare close your eyes, because right on top of us we have this beautiful archway, the same archway that Princess Jasmine and Aladdin over, under, and sideways on a magic carpet ride to a whole new world. Wow, we even have music, great. And now we have the... We have the left hand. As most of us, we're now entering the cave of wonders. Legend has the rubber rubs that lamp and such a duty free guarantee three witches. Says, I'll make a wish and see if it comes true. Give him a hundred dollars. Now. To our right hand side, we have Snow White, who fled to the evil queen. During that journey, she met the seven dwarves. And offer kindness, they offer shelter. They're still friends to the You can even hear them whistle while they work. To our left, we're on top of the hill. We have Cinderella, who wanted to go to the fall, but even some of them didn't let go and locked her up in the blue chateau. Thanks to help of her godmother and her wand, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo, she was able to dance in that way with Prince Charming. But when the clock struck midnight, Cinderella didn't make a home on time because her pumpkin carriage is still there. Not a Prince Charming, children are all over the village, turning in the glass slippers she left behind the ball. They now live their happily ever after. Oh, yeah, I can see right there. And we're back. Okay, and there's no ducks. No ducks at all. Like last because time. To our left hand side, we have these beautiful flowers from the 1933 silly symphony cartoon called Love by Land. Thanks to our garnet Chinkabo, who comes at night to sing our pixie dust, these flowers never have to grow, and yes, they are real. I am not reliable like this, so I say hello to Mr. Toad, but sorry folks, unfortunately he is not home right now, because that mother car does keep him busy on to nowhere in particular. We're right next door, you have more, you can visit him and the rest of his friends in Fantasyland. Elsa! Now we have the Kingdom of Erin, though we're two lovely sisters and Elsa and Anna are born. Elsa's way of magical powers, your sister Anna is born powerless. But with oh Elsa's magical powers, you're yeah. able to put a snowman named Olaf yeah. like warm hugs. Do you want to put a snowman? Yeah. Rise of the mountain to see Elsa's ice palace where she let it go. Straight yeah. ahead, we have the open village where Geppetto wanted to build a real boy, but he couldn't. The blue fairy was able to grant that wish, and now he has a real boy named Pinocchio. And 
to our left hand side we have Mr. Oaken who is having one big summer blowout. As we're approaching our last story, the little woman named Ariel. Ariel fell in love with a human named Eric and wanted to become part of our world. But in order for her to do that, she had a group of her tail and her voice, which she did. She decided to let the land bend in the beast and that's in the castle Prince Eric. But just across the street, under the sea, got a land to go where her father keeps trying to steal worlds to this day. With her two best friends, Sebastian and Flounder. As we're approaching, the dog folks, please remain seated, keep your hands, arms, legs, and feet in the vehicle. And please do not stand up until my count of three.